Gonna make a cup today in Blender 2.5 beta. Learned it from a guy named CHCH video uh, from New Zealand. Okay, so first uh, hit numpad 7. You can see your camera is right here. Uh, from this perspective, you should have three lights shining on your object. So right click on the light, shift D to copy, put one in front, shift D again, and put one on the left. Right click on the cube, delete, enter, shift A, and add a circle. Set the vertices over here to 20. And then tab to edit the circle. Uh, scroll to zoom in. Numpad 2 to move down a bit. E, Z, move it up. Left click to set it. Now, if you were to if you were to hit S right now, you're only going to get it to move like this. What you want to do is, uh, without moving the mouse, hit E and left click. And that will create a second set of points. So now when you press S, you'll just move at a 90 degree angle now. You can see there's two sets of points here involved. Uh, so set it out a bit. Press E, Z, mouse up, move up a bit. And then... Uh, E left click, make a second set of points, press S to move this set of points in a little bit. Uh, press numpad 2 to look from the bottom, and then press E, Z, and drag the mouse down. Not all the way, it's the inside of the cup. Um, and then E left click, make another set of points. And these set of points you want to make them meet at the center, so hit Alt M and go to at center and that's the center of your cup press a to deselect your work numpad 8 to look down from the top and you want to uh, select all your points here so uh, b for box select drag select all these points numpad 6 to rotate and then b for box select numpad 6 to rotate b to box select Okay, so now you have all your points here selected. Um, numpad 2 to look from the bottom. And then make a second set of points. Uh, e, left click. And then Alt M to merge at the center. And that's the bottom part of your cup. Deselect your work. Numpad 3. Now you're looking at it from the side. And here you want to uh, introduce some more cuts into the surface to make your handle. So uh, press Control R and click uh, five times. Uh, is that right? I don't know. Anyways, like that. Uh, deselect your work. Go into uh, face select mode. And then right click on this panel. Then shift right click on this panel. Numpad one. And then press E and drag to the right. That's your handle. Press E and drag again. Now you have your shaft. Now in here, uh, zoomed in here, um, deselect your work on these two panels and you want to connect these two uh, to make the shaft. So right click on this panel and this panel. Uh, shift, right click on this panel to select both. Press X to delete the faces and go back into dot mode dot selection mode. Press uh, B for box select. Select these four points. E, Z, and bring it down. Not completely though. And then press box select to now select the bottom four points. Now you have all eight points selected. And you want to connect them. So remove doubles and increase the threshold until they connect. So I just keep clicking. There. It's connected. Deselect your work, zoom out, and you have your cup. Uh, we smooth it out with the wrench button here. Add a modifier called subdivision surface. Uh, set the views to 4, render to 4, and go into materials here, and then hit new, and select a color under diffuse. Uh, give it a color, oh, I don't know. 
Martha Stewart or something. Um, set the hardness to around 150 because anything over that is not noticeable. Um, and there you have it. So uh, tab out of your cup now. Press uh, numpad 7 to look down from the top. And so now you can see uh, if you want to animate now, go to uh, hit the red button here to start recording your movements. Uh, go to frame 10, enter, and then hit R, Z, 90, input the number 90, and then you get, yeah, it rotates 90 degrees. Hit enter to set it. Now hit frame 20, input frame 20, and then R, Z, 90, and then go to frame 30, and then hit R, Z, 90, and then go to frame 40, and then R, Z, 90. That's a full rotation. Uh, let's say that in frame 50, uh, up to frame 50, we want the cup shrink, so uh, press S to scale and make the cup smaller. Um, and then say frame 60, uh, you want the cup to move over here. Right click and drag to this place. Left click to set the position. Um, hit numpad 0 uh, here to look at it from the camera view. This is what you see. Uh, so if you hit the back arrow now and then hit the play button, you can see it goes through a full rotation, shrink, and movement. Okay, pause. Now you only want to render up to frame 60, so click here and set the end frame to 60. That limits the range of the uh, render to 60 frames. Now let's uh, render it by going to the camera button. Well, let's save our work here first. Uh, Control S uh, inside my desktop. Uh, let's put a blend file called cup cup.blend. Save the blender file. Okay, so uh, in the render button, uh, go to the resolution and go to 100%. And then render it to, I'm going to render it to my desktop right here. And then finally, instead of a rendering a PNG, which is a picture, render it in H.264. Because um, it's easy to upload to YouTube after when you use this codec. I know it's not a free format, but it's convenient for other people. Um, and there you have it. Uh, render with Control F12. And uh, go get a real cup and get a cup of coffee or something. Let this render. Yeah. Uh, I should also mention that the FPS should be set to 30 and not 24. Makes things more smooth. Uh, it's my first tutorial, so I hope it's useful.